Welcome to Acro Yoga with Super Dave. Today our pose will be foot on chin and we're gonna make things a little bit more exciting today by doing a full standing yoga sequence on foot to shin. Okay, before we go into our foot to shin pose, I'll take you through the sequence that we'll be doing. We'll be standing um, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, I'll be reaching my arms up. And then on the exhale, I'm going to drop the right arm down, side bend over towards the right side. Okay, I'm lifting my gaze up towards my hand. And then inhale, reaching the right arm back up. Exhale, side bend over to the left side, looking towards the right hand. Inhale, all the way back up. Coming into a back bend, I lower my hands onto my lower back. Fingertips are pointed down, and my elbows are squeezed together. Okay, inhale here. And I'll push my hips forward. I can keep my chin tucked to my chest or open the front side of my neck and then look up. Okay, shifting forward on the inhale. And then on the exhale, I'm folding forward, releasing my hands down to the ground. On the next inhale, I'll bend my knees, reach the arms all the way up. And then on the exhale, I take my hands heart center and then twist. Right elbow onto left thigh. Okay, palms are pressing together. Inhale back towards the center. And then exhale, twist in the opposite direction. Left elbow onto right thigh. Taking my hands back to center. Lifting back into Ukatasa chair pose. And then come to standing. Finally, we're going to try a tricky drum balance pose uh, on the shins. I'm going to lift my right knee up. Place my right foot to the inside of my leg, hands heart center, coming into tree pose. And opposite side, I'm going to lower the right foot down, take my left foot to the inside of my leg, and take in tree pose. So that may look fairly easy on the ground, but um, on shins, it's a totally different story. So I'll take you through the steps on how to mount into the shin stand. Today we have Alice with us, <laughs> an avid acroyogi. Okay, so Alice is gonna come over here. I'll place the camera down. Okay. Okay, to get into shin stand, I draw my knees into my chest. We take reverse hand to hand grip. Alice places her foot on my shin. So the placement of the foot is important here. The big toe and second toe wraps around the shin bone, just below the kneecap. Okay, so I'll give you a little closer view of that. Okay, I'm here. Once again, her big toe, second toe wraps around my shin bone, and it's just below my kneecap. We offer hands. She presses into that shin, and she steps up onto the other shin. Same positioning, and then begins to extend up. So notice my legs. I want to get it as flat as I can so Alice can have her balance. I'm going to lift my shins up so they become flat for her to stand on. This is a little bit more challenging. If you need to, you can place hands onto the knees for additional support. Okay, and then we'll grab hands and then all the way back down. One foot at a time. Okay, so now we are going through that uh, standing yoga sequence that I did at the beginning of the class. It should be fairly easy except for tree pose. So I take hands, foot on shin. She starts to stand up. Once again, if you need additional support, hands on knees just for more stability. I also take both arms over her head. She'll take a side bend, so she can drop right, right arm down to her side, and then side bend. Okay, opposite side, inhaling up. Exhale, left arm lowers. Good, inhale back up. Both hands onto the lower back. She pushes her hips forward. She lifts her chest, coming into a back bend. Good, inhale coming up. Exhale, taking a forward fold, her hands come towards my knee. And I can secure her fingertips on my knee. 
From here, she comes into Ukatasa, she bends her knees, she takes her arms up, takes her hands to heart center, right elbow onto left thigh, coming into a twist, hands back to heart center, twist in the opposite direction, back to center, Ukatasa chair pose, she comes back into standing position. And now coming to tree. So I want to make sure that my shins are parallel to the ground so the, the ground for her is flat. I can take my toes, my toes together to make my legs more stable. And then she'll shift when she feels balanced. And then she comes back down, opposite side. Don't be in a rush to take the foot. Make sure you feel your balance. And then she comes back. And then we grab hands. And then she lowers all the way to the ground. <laughs> so, what you, what you didn't see there was the struggle that it is for the bases. It's a great hip opener. So when you go through that standing sequence, it could be very challenging. What I recommend is you break it into sections. That way, and the base can find it more manageable to do. So that's it for our, this episode. Uh, tune in next time for our next Acro Yoga pose. Take care for now.